Hey, I'm Corey from Avid Max, and today I have with me Stacy from Roughware, and we have Linus as our model today. Right now, we're going to talk to you about the Roughware Approach Pack. Stacy's going to tell you about the pack. Yeah, so this is our approach pack. Um, this is a perfect pack for your day hikes or an overnight backpacking trip. Um, it's built off of our Webmaster harness, and what that means is there's um, plenty of adjustment, and it also allows you to use the handle. So if you want to help lift your dog um, into the car or over a log as you're on the trails. It has two leash attachments. You have this aluminum D-ring here in the front and you have this webbing in the back. Personally, I like using the webbing because when you have the leash attached, it doesn't go over the handle. Uh, this pack has tons of storage and this is our extra small. So this is our smallest pack that we offer. And if you look, like I said, plenty of storage for food, water, whatever your dog needs for that day hike. Uh, reflective for safety. Another little stash pocket on the top here. And if you want a little extra gear, you can hang it on these little loops on the front here. So, yeah, this is our approach pack. So let's uh, talk about fitting, because fitting is important. Okay, so if you have a really nice uh, measuring tape here and you grab your dog and have your pup stand up. Okay. <laughs> stand up. And you can tell dogs will be dogs, so just be patient with them. And Linus is 17 inches, which is um, our extra small packs go from 17 to 22 inches. So make sure that you look at the size ranging for each pack. Slide this in. Okay, so we'll just slide them over the dog's head first. It's nice if you can um, loosen the pack a little bit before you put it on the dog, gives you a little bit of room to play with. And then you see that I lifted one pod, put over the loop. So the chest pad is right in the front. And then we buckle on the side. You want to turn around, pups? So everyone can see. Just like that. Make sure the straps aren't twisted, and so the padding is on the center of their stomach. And then on the pack, we have these extra little straps here. And what you want to do is attach those onto the straps so the pack doesn't bounce around and the dog is playing. Um, important things to note on the fit is you want the chest pad to be right in the center of the dog. You don't want this creeping up into their throat because that could hurt them. Um, and then also, this strap on the bottom here, uh, you want to make sure that that's far enough behind the dog's legs, and the way you adjust that is the strap right here, the adjustment right here. But this looks pretty good. Uh, a nice little test too is run your fingers all the way through the straps, making sure you can put two fingers all the way around. And there we go. This is our approach pack. If you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as add any comments or suggestions down below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there. I swear my love is true, I use my heart over my mind, I'm not over you.